Hello everyone, before we get into the actual benchmarks, let's have a look at the settings and the configuration first. We have an RX 6700 XT. Uh, this is a Sapphire Nitro Plus version. We are running it at the default settings without any overclocking. We have resize of power enabled, as you can see. Uh, we also have the latest drivers as of the day of recording. We have an Intel Core i5-12400F CPU and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 memory running at 3600 MHz. Here we go. Now, to kick things off, I'm going to be starting with the default DirectX 9 uh, API that the game originally runs with. We are running at 1920 by 1080 at the highest possible settings. And let's look at the performance that we're getting right now. In the apartment, in Roman's apartment, we're pretty much getting the highest possible performance that we're going to be getting in the game. But once we move out, it's going to get really really bad I've also if you remember I've tested this previously on the RX 580 and it was nowhere near as bad as this but we're getting lower performance uh, when we're actually playing the game where we're not sitting stationary than the RX 580 which is pretty crazy guys it's unbelievable this game man this game is crazy it's just Full of surprises. We're gonna have a little drive around, see what the performance is like, and as you can see, we are barely breaking 30 FPS, sometimes 40. Roman, come on, I'm on a mission. I'll get back to you. Look at that. The GPU is pretty much idling at this point. We're running at the lowest frequency that this GPU is capable of running, which is 500 megahertz, which pretty much means that the, I mean, it's a mess. I don't even know what to call this. I was going to say that uh, CPU is being a bottleneck, but even the CPU is being, isn't being used properly. So, so just GTA 4 is just being ignored by Rockstar. One of the best games in the series and it's left to the modding community to help and improve it which we're going to do but before that let's try other resolution let's go to 1440p see what that what kind of performance we're getting at 1440p all right now we're at 1440p let's see if anything has changed, what the hell? Okay, we're, we were dropping below 30. <laughs> Just, um, I mean, um, I don't know what to say. I literally don't know what to say. Now, this is a less populated area of the game, which is probably why we're... Oh, no. We're back. We're back into the seven circles of hell with these frame rates. This game came out in 2008, Manny. And it's, look at how it's struggling. I mean, the 12400 is not the fastest CPU, but I, it has no problems running GTA 5. At much better settings, much better visual fidelity, and much better performance than this. So that's it for 1440p. Let's now try to up the resolution because, as you can see, we're still pretty much idling on the GPU front. We're running at around, out of the possible 2.6, 2.5 gigahertz that this 6700 XT can run it, we're running at less than 1 gigahertz. So let's try 4K. Maybe that will increase the load a little bit on the GPU a bit and I will be right back hey guys I'm back I had to change the MSI actor burner settings to make it a bit more visible at 4k right now we're at 4k and we're going to see if we have any I mean we're not going to get improved performance we're just going to see if we can shift the bottleneck even a bit onto the GPU, it's, it's unbelievable guys, even at 4K, we are severely bottlenecked. We're not getting anywhere near 
the full potential of this GPU. Right now, when this GPU is properly used in a, you know, in a well-optimized game, it's the GPU power that you see on the top left is usually around 170 to 180 watts. Since we are, this area is less intensive, we're getting close to that. But the moment we turn back into the city and we drop it, the frame rate just keeps plummeting, even at 4K. So, I don't know. Maybe we should try 8K. See if that changes anything in any way. I'll be right back with 8K settings. Hey guys, I'm back again. And as you can see, we are running at 8K. 7680 by 4320. At the highest settings, let's see. Now we're fine. No. <laughs> Actually, I was wrong. I thought that 8K would be GPU band, but 8K resolution with the 6700 XT is not, in fact, GPU band. <laughs> I, I can't believe it, man. Look at that. The power usage indicates that we're sometimes dropping to 50% GPU usage. Look at that. At 8K, this car should be pretty much running at around 200 watts. But we're most of the time below that. The performance is, I don't know, I can't tell any difference. The framework time graph is as terrible as usual. It's just a mess. And every time we make a turn, the frame rate collapses over and over again so uh, this is where DirectX uh, translation to Vulkan or DXVK comes in we can use that to optimize the rendering process and it's going to give us significantly better performance in pretty much all the resolutions except one uh, I have already tried this as you can tell and we're going to find out hey guys we're back in the game and we're also back in Roman's apartment and as you can see at the stats on the left we are running on the Vulcan API this is the DXVK patch that I'm using is the version 2.5.3 and we're going to see uh, how it does in all the resolutions that we previously tested but in this one. So let's get into it. At Roman's apartment it does pretty similarly but that's where the similarities end. It's just going to be a night and day difference as soon as we step out of that door and as you can see, we are 100% uh, on the GPU utilization. Uh, and we're getting, uh, I don't know, how many times the frame rates that we were getting previously. I mean, it's... We are still some, I mean, slightly CPU bound. As you can see, sometimes the utilization drops, but this is perfectly smooth. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this and you can get probably higher performance if you drop the shadows a little bit, but we're not going to do that because we try to keep it apples to apples. And still, at 1920 by 1080, we are running near 100 FPS uh, with the 6700 XT, Roman calls again and get right. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory, guys. I don't even have to say anything. You look at the frame type graph. We're not getting any severe stutters when we're making turns and we're moving around. Uh, now, driving in this game is pretty much 
the most intensive part of the game and as you can see this is pretty smooth it's absolutely not a problem for this hardware it just goes to show you that just with a little bit of effort Rockstar could have with a patch or two completely fix this game but they're, they're deciding to ignore this game so that's 1080 let's try 1440 this time now with my experience that I had with this game previously raising the resolution does not as you can see we're not we haven't lost a lot of performance we're still getting on 8 FPS at 1440p with Volker, thanks to Volker. Uh, if you remember, we were uh, GPU bottlenecked pretty heavily, even all the way up to 4K. But with Volker, with the XVK, as soon as we step up to 1440p, the GPU, the CPU bottleneck pretty much disappears. We are 100% GPU bad right now, as you can see. We are getting 95 to 99% GPU utilization and we are running consistently over 100 FPS. This is a high refresh rate experience. It's absolutely running like a dream guys. At 1440p this is perfect. So I think we can pretty safely go up to 4k perhaps <laughs> hey guys I'm back yet again and right now I have set the resolution to 4k and the settings are exactly the same and we are finally seeing reduced performance and it's all down to the GPU so if you had a faster GPU than a 6760 this is where you'd start to get better performance and better frame rates because of the GPU but despite that I mean 4k is four times the resolution of 1080 and if you remember at 1080 we were getting like I mean I don't know 100 to 120 FPS most of the time right now we are getting 80 at four times the resolution of 1080. So that's just one of the curious things about this game. You turn the resolutions four times the 1080 and you barely lost. I mean, it's not proportional at all. Look at that. We're right now running around 90, close to 100 and it's still perfectly smooth and the frame time graph is still solid and we're not getting any stutters because we are 100% GPU bound and if you have a 1440p monitor or uh, a 1080 monitor and you have this kind of hardware uh, because the game doesn't have a native anti-aliasing solution uh, but using a dynamic upscaling from you know, VSR for AMD or uh, DSR for NVIDIA your game is going to look a lot sharper and a lot smoother and a lot cleaner so you can definitely go that route as well if you have more powerful hardware so without further ado let's go to 8k and see what happens. Here we go. So here we go guys, the grand finale of this video. We are running uh, at the exact same graphical settings, but we are running at 8K, 430, 20P, which is four times the resolution of 4K. And we are finally, we have found the Achilles heel for this GPU. This card cannot do GTA 4 at 8K. 
surprise. But, I mean, even though this is kind of crazy running 8k on the 6700 XT, but this is, I think, what do you guys think? Would you rather play uh, without the XVK at 1080 and get the exact, I mean, the frame time graph and the frame rate is looking pretty similar to what we were getting with DirectX 9. So maybe if we drop the settings a little bit, we can get up the performance uh, slightly, maybe playable. So let's drop the shadows to high and let's drop these sliders to half. Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right, talk among yourselves. It's gonna take a while. Yes, we've done it. Mm. I think uh, dropping the shadows or those sliders, I mean, the bottleneck lies some, the resolution, I think, is the biggest factor right now. Because even though we've changed the settings, we're not getting I mean, any performance improvements at all, which tells me that uh, we are bottlenecked on the GPU on some other aspect of the hardware, like memory bandwidth, probably. So, I think I didn't, uh, I hope I didn't bore you guys with this video. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I will post, I will try to post more regularly. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in a new one. See you later guys. Bye.